Imagine a process where your body naturally cleanses itself, removing damaged cells and recycling their components into healthier, stronger ones. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's not. This incredible biological mechanism is called autophagy. And the best part? You have the power to activate it. Today, we'll dive deep into what autophagy is, how it works, and how you can boost it through specific fasting techniques and dietary choices. Joining us on this journey is Dr. Mindy Pels, a top nutrition and functional health expert who has dedicated years to understanding the relationship between fasting, nutrition, and cellular health. Segment one, what is autophagy? Dr. Mindy Pels starts by explaining that autophagy, derived from the Greek words auto meaning self and phagy meaning to eat, literally means self-eating. But don't worry, this isn't something to be afraid of. In fact, it's one of the most crucial processes in your body. When autophagy is triggered, cells break down and recycle their damaged parts, regenerating themselves in the process. This is especially important for maintaining good health, as it helps to remove damaged cells, which may otherwise lead to illnesses such as cancer or Alzheimer's disease. And autophagy is really the way that the cell can start to become more efficient. It is, it is like the internal intelligence inside the cell. Now, here's what's so fascinating to me about autophagy. There are some hacks to autophagy. There's some little tricks to getting into autophagy. But really what autophagy is there for is to make you stronger. So think about it like this. A little bit of stress in our lives will make us go within and become a stronger, more hopefully compassionate, uh, more wise human being. Well, the same thing when you take food out of the equation, our cells start to kick in an intelligence that tells the cell to be better. And it does this by looking around the cell and saying, gosh, you know what? There's some bad bacteria in here. There's some viruses in here. There's some things inside this cell that are not serving this cell. So I'm gonna just clean that up. It will spit these bacteria and bacteria out. It will stop the replication of bacteria. It will go in and repair mitochondria that we need to make energy. It will repair proteins. So it's a, like the, the most basic idea around autophagy is it's like you walked into a dark room and you turned on the lights. And when the lights got turned on, all of a sudden you could see what in the room needs to be cleaned up. Dr. Pels emphasizes that autophagy is like a cellular cleanup crew, sweeping away the broken and malfunctioning parts of cells to make room for newer, healthier components. And by doing this, autophagy not only supports longevity, but also helps prevent chronic diseases. Segment two, fasting and its role in autophagy. So how can we activate this powerful process in our bodies? According to Dr. Pels, fasting is one of the most effective ways to stimulate autophagy. She recommends fasting for 12 to 17 hours a day to kickstart the process, with longer fasts lasting 24 to 72 hours done less frequently for more profound effects. Key number one, you are going to need to start to fast more than 17 hours. At 17 hours, what happens is autophagy gets turned on. But you've probably heard me talk a lot about these different switches that happen. With autophagy, it's more like a dimmer switch. Like you will start to slowly turn up the healing benefits. So if you know, gosh, I have a lot of memory loss. Oh my gosh, I've been really, I didn't know that I was killing myself with standard American diet. I really want to lose weight. I really want to overcome my menopause symptoms. If you are in that boat and you want to use autophagy at 17 hours, it starts and it will peak at 72 hours. So you're gonna wanna stay within that range between 17 hours and 72 hours. That's gonna be your sweet spot for. So there are some very specific parameters. The first, you guys have probably heard me talk about this idea that we have these switches that turn on. The longer you fast, the more you turn these switches on. And I actually think of autophagy as more like a dimmer switch. So autophagy starts to kick in around 17 hours. And so that's when you're like a dimmer switch in a room, you're slowly turning up the light, you're slowly turning up autophagy around 17 hours of fasting. 
Now, if you stay fasting, the science shows that between 17 and 72 hours, you will get maximum autophagy. Many people believe 72 hours, that three-day water fast will give you the best autophagy effect possible. And a lot of people believe, just like I was explaining, that it's just a dimmer switch that just gets brighter and brighter as you move closer to 72. So 20 hours has more autophagy than 17. 36 hours has more autophagy than 17. The more you fast, the more you're gonna build up this autophagy effect. Now, there are other key principles to autophagy other than fasting that we cannot ignore. Fasting forces your body to turn to internal resources for energy, including damaged cells. This process not only helps cleanse your system, but also promotes weight loss, improved mental clarity, and reduced inflammation. Dr. Pels says, Fasting puts your body in a state of survival, and in that state, it chooses to clean up and regenerate. Segment three, the power of food in promoting autophagy. Dr. Mindy Pels also emphasizes the role of nutrition in boosting autophagy. Along with fasting, consuming certain foods can naturally promote this self-cleaning process. She provides a list of five powerhouse foods that you should consider adding to your diet. One, coffee, coffee lovers rejoice. Coffee is known to trigger autophagy, thanks to its rich antioxidant content. However, Dr. Pell suggests drinking it black for the best results, as added sugars and creamers can dampen the benefits. 2. Green tea similar to coffee. Green tea has powerful antioxidants that support the autophagic process. It also contains catechins, compounds known for their anti-aging properties. Favorite foods? Coffee. But this doesn't mean you go to Starbucks and you start drinking Starbucks and all of a sudden now you're in this self-repair. In fact, the opposite happens. But coffee, mold-free, organic, without pesticides, is an autophagy stimulator. So not 10 cups, one cup. And if you add MCT oil to that, you enhance an autophagy effect. I have a great podcast, it's called The Resetter Podcast, and I interviewed Dave Asprey on this exact concept, which is what can we do to hack into autophagy? And his favorite uh, hack for autophagy is when you get up in the morning, you have a cup of coffee and you put some MCT oil in it. You've now training the fat burning energy system, plus you're enhancing autophagy with MCT oil and organic coffee. So coffee. What if you don't like coffee? Well, I got good news for you. Green tea. Green tea does it. Uh, Bergamot tea does it as well. That is also, you find Bergamot in uh, Earl Grey tea. So you can do a tea. As Three, cacao, yes, chocolate can be healthy. Pure, unprocessed cacao is loaded with antioxidants that support cellular repair and autophagy. TV, and that is cacao, which is chocolate. So there are a lot of different ways to, to get cacao into your diet, get chocolate into your diet. Uh, the study or the conversation that Naomi and I had was around uh, the Mars company and that the Mars company actually um, went in and did research on what chocolate does for autophagy. Now, that doesn't mean you go out and eat a Mars bar. I would prefer that you would go after clean cacao sources. So a couple different things that you can look for when you're buying chocolate. You can look for the word cacao. So this was actually drinking chocolate, organic drinking chocolate that I found at my local farmer's market. And the number one ingredient is cacao. So number one, number two is cacao butter. So great uh, solution. Uh, here is a, a cacao that a friend recommend. Four, olive oil packed with monounce saturated fats. Olive oil is another food that Dr. Pels highly recommends. Not only does it support autophagy, but it also helps reduce inflammation throughout the body. Now, there is some interesting science showing that extra virgin olive oil also stimulates autophagy. So here's one of our new favorites that we've been testing. It's called Zero Acre. I'll leave links for all of this at the bottom. So Zero Acre, really great, really clean, um, extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil can help with autophagy. And I'll show you how we're gonna stack this. Five, curcumin found in turmeric. Curcumin is an incredibly potent anti-inflammatory compound. Dr. Pels encourages incorporating it into meals or taking it as a supplement to boost autophagy and protect against cellular damage. Segment four, the benefits of autophagy. 
the benefits of autophagy go far beyond just weight loss. Dr. Mindy Pels emphasizes that this process can lead to improved mental clarity, reduced inflammation, and even a reduced risk of developing chronic diseases. Autophagy is one of the most powerful health hacks, Dr. Pels explains. Not only does it help with weight management, but it also plays a vital role in brain health, preventing cognitive decline. One of the most exciting aspects of autophagy is its anti-aging potential. By clearing out damaged cells, the body can regenerate newer, healthier ones, which may slow down the aging process. Dr. Pels believes this is one of the reasons why fasting and autophagy are becoming increasingly popular in the health world. Segment 5, Incorporating Autophagy into Your Lifestyle So how can you begin to incorporate autophagy into your lifestyle today? Dr. Mindy Pels suggests starting with intermittent fasting, gradually extending your fasting window as your body adjusts, combining fasting with autophagy-boosting foods, such as avocado and green tea, will help you maximize the benefits. We're not forcing our body to become better versions of ourselves. So the name of the aging game is to pulse in hard. And fasting is a way of pulsing in something hard that actually sends a signal to the cells to repair themselves. Be a better cell. You know, you can't be a better version of yourself sitting on the couch and eating ultra processed foods and, and, lis and, and listening to toxic information from news or social media all day long. That is not the path to a better version of you. A better version of you is somebody who decides, I'm not scared of hard things. I'm gonna do short little pulses of hard things. So with fasting, what you're doing is you're actually triggering um, this autophagy response inside the cell. And a 2018 review found that you are putting an incredible amount of pressure on the cells when you fast and it's called a hormetic stress, that is a positive one, and that you are increasing autophagy specifically within the brain. Okay, this is important. Because at a time when we have dementia and Alzheimer's at its peak, if you can just pulse in some fasting, 17 hours a day, uh, throw in a 24 hour, I've done a lot of videos here on fasting, you are going to increase autophagy in your brain, which means your brain is going to be able It's important to remember that autophagy is a natural process that your body is already equipped to do. You just need to give it the right tools and environment to thrive. Whether it's through fasting or nutrition, unlocking autophagy can help you achieve a higher level of health and vitality. Autophagy is more than just a buzzword. It's an essential part of how our bodies maintain health and longevity. By understanding and activating this powerful process, you can take control of your health in a natural and sustainable way. As Dr. Mindy Pels has shown us, it's not about doing more, it's about allowing your body to do what it was designed to do.